good morning or good afternoon to everyone who's joining us today, depending on where you're located. Uh, we certainly want you to know we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to come and hopefully learn something. Um, you know, we know it's it's not easy to take time out of your day, so we definitely appreciate it. Once you to know that. Um, like Angela said, my name is Trevor. I am the sales director for the West Coast here at Sound Vision Technologies. I've um, been with the company now for a little over seven years, uh, five of which in sales. So i um, loving every minute of it. And uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. So we'll we'll dive straight into it and um, just kind of give you a, a brief overview of what we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to kind of give you a high level uh, look at a lot of our products, offering solutions, um, a little more in depth with a couple of our brands, uh, particularly True Audio and Vessel brands. Um, and then really the probably the biggest part of this presentation, the part I'm most excited to talk about with you all is some real world applications. Um, so we're going to go into some actual case studies that we've conducted and um, show you guys some actual projects that have been done that hopefully give you some ideas of how you can get out there and you know sell sell our products, um, have some new weapons kind of under your belt to go out there and offer your clients uh, maybe some new uh, revenue opportunities, business opportunities that you haven't thought of before or you're you're trying to think of how you can grow your business now. Um, hopefully today's presentation will give you some better ideas as to how to do that. Please, um, you know, don't hesitate to throw questions up on the question board. We will go through a Q&A at the very end of the presentation and answer any questions you guys have. So as questions come up at any time during the presentation, uh, throw them on the question board so we don't um, so we don't lose them and you don't forget them. Um, so Sound Vision Technologies. For those of you who don't know, hopefully most of you have heard of us by now, and some of you have probably started using some of our products and doing some business. And um, anyway, Sound Vision Technologies is the kind of the brink, uh, blanket or the umbrella company to a lot of our other uh, brands. Um, some of our, our bigger brand names that a lot of you will, will recognize or, or, or possibly know are True Audio and Vessel. Those will probably be the, the two most known. Um, we've got Current Audio under the umbrella, as well as Unified Copper, which is a bulk, bulk wire line, uh, Forge for racking solutions, and Pad Amount for in-wall iPad docking solutions. A uh, little bit about us. Sound Vision Technologies was founded back in 1999. Uh, we were founded by installers for installers, and we'll touch a little more on that here further in the presentation, but um, we're a privately held company to this day. Our corporate offices are in St. George, Utah, just just right there by Zions National Park, for those of you who have been to the area. Uh, we're about an hour and 45 minutes north of Las Vegas. And we do have other warehouses across the country and globe. We've got a uh, location in Georgia where we service our East Coast customers, some more Midwest customers. And then we've got locations in uh, United Kingdom, in the Netherlands, and in Asia as well. We are very much an international company, global company. Um, we ship product all over the world. Um, diving into a couple of the selling points of True Audio. Again, we were founded by system integrators. Um, and the reason why we like to tout that is because a lot of the products we come out with, a lot of the solutions we come out with um, have that very much in the in the front of our minds, you know, as we go into creating new products, we are always thinking of what we can do to make the integrator, integrator's life easier. And the install goes smoother, quicker, faster, you know, where time can be saved, where, where we can have less headaches. Um, that's always been at the forefront of our minds when creating new products and will continue to be that way. Um, and it's been a, a large part of why we've been able to capture a lot of the, the, um, the, share, the market share that we have. That's why a lot of our customers uh, appreciate and love doing business with us is, is because we keep those things in mind. And we were once in, in their shoes and your guys' shoes. Um, you know, we have unique product traits and installation features. We'll dive into some of those later in the presentation as we go over some of our 
lines. Again, we'll just kind of be going through some things at more of a high level today because um, I want to talk specifically about, uh, about how to use our products in, in actual real world solutions or real world uh, examples. We have industry leading warranties. So limited lifetime on basically all of our indoor speakers, any sort of a passive speaker and our, our four racks are also a lifetime warranty. Uh, we have an industry leading five year warranty on our outdoor audio, as well as our True Audio branded electronics. So True Audio amplifiers, uh, powered four standing subwoofers, um, you know, those kinds of things. And we've got a two year warranty on our vessel products. Uh, we very much are able to maintain strong margin across the board. Um, you know, we use different methods of making sure that stays that way. We want our, our customers and our dealers to feel very much protected and, and feel like they're not going to be shopped, uh, you know, easily, especially online. Um, you know how important that is to you as business owners and that you obviously want to sell products that um, are going to be able to hold that margin. And speakers, audio, AV is still very much a category that, that is able to maintain strong margin, which is why you know, if a lot of you are thinking about getting into it or, or um, you know, maybe just starting to get into it, you're probably seeing some of that, but it's, it's a big reason why you should be at least considering adding this to your, your business solutions. <laughs> Moving on here, um, we're going to talk a little bit about Vessel. So Vessel is our fastest growing product line that, um, that we have. It, it has exploded over the last couple of years. Uh, and I'm going to give you kind of a high level view as to what it is. If a lot of you don't know what Vessel is, I would highly recommend getting in touch with your sales reps there at Streakwave or with Angela. She could send you some of the previous webinars we've done. Um, based around Vessel as a product. We've got training videos as well as just intro to Vessel and what it is, what it does. Um, so get in touch with them if you want to know more about Vessel specifically. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll kind of give you a high level view of what it is. So something you'll hear us talk about a lot with Vessel is the term native streaming. Um, and we use that term because we like to tout the fact that there's no third party apps necessary. Um, and rather than explain that to you, I've got a quick little video I'll show you. That'll tell you exactly, explain to you exactly what native streaming is. So this is showing you off of Apple Music's how to use AirPlay 2. You'll go down, you'll click your AirPlay icon within the Apple Music app or any other app for that matter. You'll see your list of named zones that you've gone in and pre-named. Kitchen, garage, you can select and deselect those zones and you're off and running. Music will start playing to those zones immediately. Uh, we're gonna use the Pandora app to show you how to Google Cast, which is another streaming protocol built into Vessel. So again, similarly, you'll click the Google Cast icon instead of AirPlay. It'll show a list of all your zones. You go in, tap your zone. Again, you're off and running. Spotify has its own streaming protocol called Spotify Connect. So again, it looks very similar to some of the other apps. You go in, collect your or select your uh, icon down here, your casting icon, and it'll show you a list of all the zones you've gone in and pre-named during programming, during setup, and allow you to you know stream music instantaneously to any one of those zones. Um, so those are again the three streaming protocols that Vessel uses. Spotify Connect, AirPlay, which is now AirPlay 2, and Google Chromecast. By using those three streaming protocols, uh, you can stream literally from any app or from any device from with any app um, to any zone of vessel in a project. Um, <clears throat> another big thing with vessel is voice control. You know, that's, that's a hot topic, especially today. Um, people are getting more intrigued by the idea of having voice control in their home. You know, some people are are rather turned off by it, but a lot of people love it. I personally use it in my house. I like to control my lights, and, uh, my vessel, turn on my music, you know, have it do all sorts of commands. Um, and I really enjoy being able to use it like that. Uh, so Vessel has, since day one, worked with Google Voice out of the box, as well as with Siri. 
Um, but starting this quarter, actually next month, we're going to be launching our new X series, which is basically all of these, these three products that you see here, which we'll talk a little bit more in depth about. Um, we're coming out with our X series, which is basically, basically version two of these three products. And the biggest thing, the biggest change to note is going to be the integration of uh, Amazon Alexa. So Alexa Voice will now be compatible with all of our vessels. Uh, which we did not have before. So we only worked with Google Voice. Now these will work with Google Voice, Siri, and Alexa. Uh, a lot of our customers have been long, has been long awaited for, and they're very excited about this. Again, that's coming next month. We'll be launching the X series. Um, for those of you who use any sort or do any sort of automation and control, um, we just wanted to show you the fact that we do have some automation drivers with these specific companies, Control4, URC, Crestron. We've got a driver with RTI coming soon. Um, just to show you that we do integrate with these larger all-in-one control companies, which is important for a lot of our customers. Um, kind of a high-level look at each of the Vessel products that we have right now, starting with the A1 Home. This is our single zone unit. Um, we're going to take a look at the back here and show you what we've got on this, but it's a single zone streaming unit. Um, it's got two powered channels, 35 watts per channel. So you can hook a couple of speakers up or even up to four speakers on this thing um, and then stream to it. And this will actually connect to your internet using Wi-Fi or hardwire connection. So this is the only vessel unit that will connect using Wi-Fi. Our other two units that we'll talk about have to be a hardwire connection. Um, but real quick, looking at the back of this, you can see we've got just about every kind of an in and out that you want, analogs, opticals, coax. Uh, we've even got a network out on this. Um, we've got a sub out on this. So if you wanted to hook up a subwoofer externally and have that run you know, with a pair of speakers, you can do that. Um, there's the subwoofer low frequency control built into the app. Um, you'll notice this little toggle switch on the back that says line, line out only. So you can toggle that between on and off. And what that's going to do is basically shut the power off. So you just use this as a source. And where that comes into play is if you've got uh, a project where you're using larger amplifiers with higher power, maybe you're using 70 volt amplifiers for a big commercial project, then you can take the Vessel A1, uh, turn off the powered zones and just use it as the source so it'll just run basically it's the input of your amplifier um, and then your your large you know amplifier whatever it may be will power all your speakers the vessel will just do all the music control um, so this makes it very much uh, a product you can apply to any existing projects that are out there whether it's a home or a commercial project if they've got speakers already in a home or in an office, and they just want to update how they stream music because it's you know it's a 10-year-old or a 20-year-old, 15-year-old system, and it's very well out of date. Uh, Vessel makes the perfect solution for that. You just come in, put a, maybe one A1 or however many zones they want uh, into that project. Uh, you've already got the amplifiers and the speakers installed, which they can still use, and it makes it a low-cost, easy upgrade. Um, and easy money for you guys, hopefully, um, to offer you know people with, with existing equipment. So the other two products currently the vessel has are the has are the A3 and the A6 Pros. So what you're looking at here is a single one uh, U chassis with the A3 and a two U chassis with the A6 that are rack mountable. So they are designed to be placed within a, a rack. And what these are is basically a three zone and a six zone unit. So we could say three of those vessel A1s makes up our A3 and six makes up this A6. Uh, biggest differences though are the power handling. Uh, this is one major difference. The A3 and the A6 Pros have 50 watts of power per channel, whereas the, the A1 only has 35 watts. So this will push quite a bit more power, um, give you quite a bit better performance to your speakers. Just quickly looking at the back here, you can see we've got 
a couple of bus ins and bus outs on the larger A6 unit and a single bus in and bus out on the A3. Um, again, we, we've put those on here in case you want to tie in, like say, say the customer has a, an outdoor uh, 70 volt audio system you know, powered off of a separate 70 volt amplifier. You could use your bus ins and bus outs now to tie a system like that into your vessel. And so it will basically become one of the vessel zones in that project. Or maybe they have a, a surround sound receiver, you know, 5.1 surround sound system. <clears throat> you can now tie that in and have that become one of your vessel zones using the bus ins and outs. Um, another thing to note here, which I won't dive too much into just because we'll have more trainings about the new X series um, pretty, pretty shortly here. So look for more details on that. But the X series does have a couple of, of changes with these units. Biggest uh, or a couple of the bigger ones being um, outs for all of your audio outs for all of your zones. So rather than just having you know, two bus ins and two bus outs on the A1s, you'll now have ins and outs for every single zone on the unit. Um, this is just showing you the specs uh, by product comparisons. We pretty much went over everything notable in here. Uh, I do want to mention once again, the A6 and the A3 require a hardwire connection, whereas the A1 can be run off of Wi-Fi. Actually runs quite well. I know most of you are, um, you know, have a very extensive networking background. You know how to set up a proper network, and uh, that's why the A1 would, would fit great into most of uh, you know, what you guys are doing. Um, I could say I use the A1s with with Wi-Fi at my house, and as long as you've got the right network set up, they run flawlessly. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of a direction to Vessel's knowledge base, uh, in case you run into hiccups or issues, you, know, you jump on Vessel.com, and we have an extensive knowledge base set up there for you. Uh, everything from setting up Vessel to best networking practices uh, we even get as specific as, as showing you know here's what to do if, if your customer has this brand of router here's what to do if they have this brand of router here's all the different settings to go in and change um, we've tried to be as, as in-depth and as thorough as possible in making sure that we've we've hit all the questions and all the possible snags that might come up so i will tell you this knowledge base will probably answer 99% of the questions that come up or the or the uh, possible scenarios you might run into or or log jams. This will take care of 99% of them. We've got uh, a great customer service team though that's available. Um, you know, so should you run into something that's not covered on here or you just don't want to deal with it, you just want to talk to someone, please feel free to give us a call. Um, Jumping into the True Audio brand, we're going to talk about this a little, a little bit and then jump right into some of our actual case studies, give you some real world examples. Um, kind of a continuation of some selling points more on the True Audio side, uh, just, just some interesting things to note. True Audio was the first to market with the Ghost Style Grill, which is our magnetic bezel-less grill. You know, before we came out with that, speakers all had a compression style grill with a big you know, one inch plastic bezel all the way around it, um, giving it a very dated look. Uh, so you'll notice you'll see that probably in a lot of commercial buildings still, um, older homes. Uh, but that could be a great talking point and opportunity for upgrading customers, getting them into new speakers that look more up to date. Uh, another thing we were the first to market with was an all all white speaker, truly all white. You know, white plastics, white bezel, white grill, white woofers, um, just giving it the cleanest possible look. It looked, looked really nice up against a, a white ceiling. Um, Toolis, true, uh, the Toolis and True Grip technology was something we just launched in our new Ghost line. And I've got a slide later where I'll kind of show you that. Um, again, just a real uh, high level view, but. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, something I want to point out again, going back to the fact that we were a company started by integrators for integrators. Um, our tool list in true grip technology is a perfect example of, of how we're constantly coming out with products to help make the installer's life easier. 
Um, and again, we'll we'll talk about this. I'll kind of explain what that is a little bit later here. Um, we have a very wide, deep product line, solutions for any kind of a project you can think of, audio projects. Um, and we we believe we have the best product product quality for the best price. You know, I can truly say that um, knowing our competitors, uh, you know, there's specific categories where we really shine, especially, you know, I look at places like outdoor audio and we continue to shine. We're constantly told that we have products that sound much better than our competitors for a lower price. Um, and I never gets old hearing that stuff. Um, jumping into some case studies now. This is the part I was really excited to show you guys. Um, I've got several examples here of some projects that have been done. Um, I've got some videos that we're gonna show you. Uh, but basically this is just to help you guys understand how our products fit into real world applications. Um, and hopefully this helps a lot of you kind of open up your eyes to how you can create more selling opportunities. You know, you'll, you'll notice that most of these projects are probably similar projects to what you've been on, um, where you've done, you know, just all of the, uh, all of the internet providing all of the networking service. Um, so being able to say, hey, I do audio as well is going to be uh, a huge thing. So this first project is called Ballast Point in Virginia. It's a restaurant. And you'll notice in the pictures here, you can see some in-ceiling speakers. You can see some speakers mounted out on the patio. Um, and we'll show you kind of what this all entails. So what you're looking at here is uh, the customer sent us this blueprint. And then we took it, turned around um, our design team, which is another thing I want to note is completely free service to you guys. Um, our design team will take any plans you give us and put together, you know, based off of off of what your customer needs and as much detail as you can give us, we'll put together our suggested uh, layout, speaker layout. So all the equipment you need, the suggested speaker we would use, um, speaker placement. Um, Again, if, if you come to us and just say, hey, I, I've got this blueprint, I don't know and don't have the time to really put anything together and I don't know where speakers go, I just need you to tell me what you'd suggest uh, you know, to give the best sound possible. Well, our team will take that, that's enough information for us to, to take and, and put something like this together. And then we'll spit this back to you. Um, you'll get a quote along with it from your, your Strict Wave representative and you've got all the ammo you need right now to go back to that customer and say, here's here's what I'd like to present to you on the audio side. So on this project, we're using a combination of our speakers. You'll notice up here in the top where we show our, our symbol count, we've got our in-ceiling 70 volt six inch speakers, 15 of them in the main bar, 24 in the dining room, we're using 24 of the AS2s on the outside terrace. Those were some of the ones you noticed in this picture mounted up on the, the terrace here, pointing down. Um, so it's a lot of our 70 volt speakers, and then we're using Crown CDI 1000s and 2000s to power everything. Um, so I can tell based off of this that we've suggested four separate zones, because we've got four Crown amplifiers, and then there's also a combination of volume controls, so they can control different areas just manually on a, a wall volume control. This is four zones in this project. So I'm guessing the customer wanted to have four separate controllable zones. Um, and then what you could do, I don't see it on this particular project, but what you could do is, is throw in four vessel A1s. You'd, throw, you'd match a vessel A1 onto each of these zones and you would have four fully separate controllable audio zones that could play anything off any device. Um, so typically, in a commercial project like this, someone would have an iPad or, or a dedicated uh, you know, iPod Touch or an iPhone that they would use, or even a computer that would sit and be used to control each zone. Um, this is the in-ceiling 70 volt speaker that we used on the project. You'll notice it, it's, uh, it can be run in 70 volt and 8 ohm. In most commercial projects, these are being run 70 volt there are 70 volt taps on the front, so you can tap the power accordingly. And again, this is all stuff that our team can suggest and help you with, especially if you're just getting into this and it's over your head. 
but we don't want anyone to be overwhelmed um, by any of this, which is why we try to offer as much service as possible on our end to help you feel comfortable with it. Um, you know, even down to walking you through how to put a lot of this stuff in on the project or wire needs to go. Um, you know, don't let that be an excuse to not consider adding something like this to your business. Uh, the Acoustiscaped AS2, you'll notice again, it's got 70 volt taps, so you can tap the power accordingly. Um, this thing will push 50 watts, it's got a six inch woofer in it. Uh, so that's the first project. Um, next project here we have is called the Grip. It's an American Ninja Warrior Gym. Um, and this has got, I believe, a combination of, it does. So it's got our, our pendant style speakers. Um, you'll see, again, similarly, uh, we've designed this for this customer based off the feedback they gave us. You'll notice we've got 12 beat drops of our beat drop spec in, which is our eight inch pendant style speaker. So it actually hangs. I'm sure if you, you can kind of see a little bit of it here in, in this photo, um, but I, I think there's a video where you'll be able to get a better look at what that speaker looks like. So they wanted the speakers up and out of the way. They wanted um, really good sound to cover a large space. Um, we've got a couple of patio style speakers also on this project. And then it looks like we've got a vessel um, which is the source for all of the music. This is our eight inch pendant speaker, it comes in white or black. Um, it's got a lot of power. It is also a 70 volt speaker that can be run in eight ohm um, with tap settings on that as well. So that's the patio style speaker. Just to give you a quick look at that. Um, quick video here to kind of again show you how this product was used in this project. You can see our speaker up there at the top. They use the white pendant speakers. And again, they kind of, I mean, they use those because they, they want to disappear to the environment. One of these days I'll be able to do this stuff. I'm going to get over there and start practicing. There you can see our patio style speaker in the corner. I love how they've done it here because all the speakers almost disappear. So there's another project for you or idea. Um, moving on to the next case study we've got here. This is a place called Nets on Fire. It's a big bas indoor basketball gym. So what they've done here, again, you can see you can see that we've used blueprints or we've gone with something as simple as this with our system design. We don't have to have physical blueprints, although it is preferred. Um, we could have something as easy as, you know, this box showing the dimensions. We've got 123 feet by 123 feet. Um, and we can we can spec something together for you just based off of that by itself. You see in here we designed this again with our pendant style beat drop speakers. Uh, and then this project is a little bit unique because they wanted some bass. They wanted some heavy bass in this gym, um, even more so than what our eight inch beat drops could produce. Uh, so they went they swung for the fences. And our custom department was able to cook up some 15 inch custom subwoofers for them. Um, they needed something that was going to be very heavy duty, which I'll show you here. So this is the, this is what our custom department was able to cook up for them. Um, we needed something heavy duty. We needed something in a, a protective case in case basketballs were flying and hitting this thing. Obviously we don't want to get knocked off the wall. We don't want the woofer getting damaged. 
Um, and then they wanted something that could really put out some serious input, some serious low frequency. You know, we're talking about a massive basketball court. Uh, so you've got to have some large woofers to move some serious air if you're going to hear any kind of low frequency from that. Um, and so our custom department came out with these 15 inch woofers. You can see we did some custom engraving here on the side. And this is just, this gives you an idea too of the, the kind of scope we, we have, we, you know, we've got a custom department that can do full custom pieces, pretty much anything you can imagine we can, we can come up with. Um, they needed this to be 70 volt. So I imagine it ran in line with some of the crown amplifiers they were using, which is why it needed to be 70 volt. Um, it's all custom painted, custom engraved, custom mounting we had to come up with for them and a custom grill. This is a really fun project actually. And then so far, we are excited, uh, again, to be here and be more complex. Uh, one of the great aspects of being here is the great sound uh, system that we have here through True Audio and their vessel. It's been great here for our, our tournaments, for our daily activities, and it helps to bring the energy and excitement here in the gym. Our athletes love it. Um, as we can play music over the sound system, we can communicate with those that come and participate in our tournaments and our camps. And it's a very smooth and easy to utilize tool. I'm on the vessel. Um, we're able to navigate through it very easy and it helped us um, keep things very streamlined and, and easy to use. So we're excited to be partnered up and have a uh, true audio vessel here in our facility. So again, you can see we use the hanging pendant speakers in this project, the custom subs, and customers are very happy with how it turned I know out. So far, I'm um, another project we have here, this place is called The Rink. It's a big indoor roller skating rink. And we've got more of the beat drops that were used on this, some in-ceiling speakers. Um, they wanted to go, they only needed one big zone, but we had a lot of power we had to put out. So we spec'd a big CDI 6000 amplifier uh, from Crown, and that was able to produce enough power to power all of the speakers in this project. And then we used the vessel A1 as the source because they just needed, again, one big zone. Uh, everything's going to be playing the same music all the time. This was another really fun project, and it's, it's another project where we produce some custom subwoofers. So again, similar design. You can see the laser engraving they wanted here. Um, something even more unique about these is they wanted some LED lights inside to kind of light up this, this cutout and and light up uh, around the subwoofer to put more of an emphasis on it. Uh, they really wanted it, these subwoofers to be a, a statement piece, so we we integrated them with some LED backlighting. Let me show you guys this so you can get a feel for how it turned out. So while you are here at the rink, we do have an amazing experience with the music. What we have in high pass, and we have our commercial license. And what we use is actually Apple Airplay. And so what we'll do is we can take requests. We have about over 30 different kinds of playlists that we do, ranging from the 70s all the way to the 90s to the modern times, just a variety of different music. And what's fun is with that experience, True Audio has done a phenomenal job being able to allow us to have that Airplay in and it's directly through that vessel. And you'll see once we do come here, we do have a great DJ booth. And you'll see two subs on the side of our DJ booth with our custom cells, which do include LED lighting, creates a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. You're going to be able to hear all the different sounds, different frequencies as well, which ultimately creates a clear kind of sound for us to do it. So we can see what I'm trying to do. So, as you can see, they wanted, they wanted. A real statement here at you know a place like a roller indoor roller skating rink. Obviously, music is what sets the mood, um, and with their customers being able to request different music, you know that's that's kind of everything in a in a business like this is is how good the music is going to sound. Um, so that's why we did some more custom large 15 inch subwoofers. We've got a plethora of beat drops all over the place. Um, we spec a lot more speakers in here because the audio was so important. You know, the one thing to to note, um, 
is the more speakers you use, especially in a commercial environment, the lower the volume level you can keep uh, and still have a full, rich, immersive sound, but also give the customers inside the space the ability to carry on conversations with each other. Um, and so that's why you'll see, you know, here versus like uh, that last project with uh, the basketball courts, you know, there were there were fewer beat drops spec'd out per per the space, but that's because you know everyone talking to each other was not as much of a of a you know a thing as, as it is at a place like this where people are mingling and and needing to talk to one another. So you want to put in more speakers. The idea is to be able to keep the levels lower but still have a full, rich, immersive sound everywhere you step. Um, another project here, and again, guys, this we're, I'm showing you so many of these projects because I want to give you some ideas as to how you can be offering this stuff in the real world. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that some of these places you've already seen have been uh, similar to projects you've been on where you've done maybe just the networking portion for for them. You know, but why not be able to talk to them about this and at least let them know it's something you can offer. Um, so if they're looking for it, maybe you've got the, really, the right relationship with that customer where they're just ready to go with you for all their AV needs. Um, or maybe, you, you know, you have to bid against somebody else. But uh, the hope is that since you've got true audio in your pocket, you'll be able to win most of those bids based off of the quality and the, the uh, pricing. So this next project is called The Loop, the Spin Studio. You'll see it's a much smaller space than some of the other projects. Um, but again, you know, you can kind of tell by these pictures that audio is going to be an important factor in a business like this, where you need to keep the energy high, uh, the intensity up, and music's gonna be a huge factor. But it's a small room, so you can see we didn't have to spec a whole lot. We've got four of our eight-inch in-ceiling speakers, We've got a single floor standing subwoofer. Um, we've got one of our multi-zone amplifiers to power all the speakers. And then again, using a Vessel A1 as the source to all of this. So you'll see in a lot of these projects, we're not using the Vessel amplifier. We're just using it as a source piece for all the music streaming needs. Um, and then that Vessel A1 has got the sub out, which allows you to tie in that floor standing SS12 subwoofer. So there's the in-seating speaker that we specced into it. Um, here's the floor standing 12 inch subwoofer. And one more video to show you guys. Under tool thing in the loop in an indoor cycling studio that's rhythm based. Our goal is to cultivate connection through movement. And our vision is to allow people to become more than they were when they entered the door. Since our studio is a rhythm based studio, music is a very important part of what we bring to the space. It's basically the lifeblood of our studio. That's why we want true audio so that our writers can actually feel and connect with the people. There you go. So that's that's a handful of case studies for you, some actual real world applications um, to hopefully get your guys' minds, you know, thinking about thinking about how you can get out there and offer these. Um, you know, conference rooms is another big one. This is another one of our customers' projects. Uh, you can see barely up there in the ceiling, you can see our pendant style speakers hanging down. Um, again, they wanted the audio to, to be good, but also disappear into the environment, which is why those are so great for an open ceiling like this. Um, but conference rooms is another great opportunity. Uh, outdoor audio, um, I mentioned earlier that our outdoor audio from my standpoint, is second to none, even though I am a bit biased. Um, we truly do offer the greatest quality outdoor products at the best price. Uh, I believe we definitely have the most bang for the buck. Um, we've got our OP series, which is a patio style speaker. Um, earlier in some of those projects, we had a, uh, our 70 volt patio style speakers. So those are two separate products. This one is our eight ohm edition. Um, but this, this beach club, I wanted to show you to give you an idea of the kind of scope that you, that you can create or the, you know, the large projects you can actually handle with, with our products. Um, this gives you an idea of, of just how big you can go 
you know, here you see speakers just laid out all over the place. We've got our AS2 spec into this, which are in-ground stake, um, you know, landscape style speaker. They're meant to look kind of like outdoor lighting. Um, we've got them in four diff or three different sizes. We've got our AS1, which is a four inch woofer, our AS2, which is a six inch woofer, and then the AS3 that we just came out with last year, that's an eight inch woofer, which all obviously come with uh, their different price points and different strengths and weaknesses. Um, but the idea is to give you a, a you know, a product for, for every solution you're going to need. Uh, this project has more than 30 speakers specced in and more than 10 subwoofers, both our underground subwoofers as well as our above ground uh, hardscape weatherproof subwoofers. Uh, so this is a massive, massive job. Um, you know, again, this is just to give you an idea of the kind of scope we've got. Um, you know, I'd say our most common landscape packages that we use are are uh, much smaller. They're meant to cover like a, a residential pool at a home or a sauna or a hot tub or, you know, that kind of space, a, a smaller backyard. Um, but we certainly have the capability to, to handle a large commercial project like this. Uh, and again, it's something that our system design team will help, which is a free, completely free service to you guys. So don't hesitate to lean on us heavy for that. Um, again, the more information you can get us, the better. Um, probably the biggest pieces of information we can use is the physical specs, you know, footage, square footage, um, what the customer is looking for. We've actually got a form that's made made it really easy for you. So we, your Streakwave rep would just send you this form. You'd fill it out and get it back to us. Uh, and then we'd be off to the races after that. Uh, this is, these are the products that make up our landscape series. So we've got our subterrains, it's our 10 inch and 12 inch, these big bright green and yellow subwoofers. Um, don't worry, these are meant to be underground, so you don't see any of that yellow or green, but they have kind of become uh, our signature colors. So that's kind of how our customers know it's, know it's a true audio product. Um, but that thing actually gets buried right up to that cap you see on the top, and that's really all that gets seen. Um, you know, once it's installed correctly. Uh, something to note, we just recently redid our burial subwoofers. Uh, we did a full overhaul of the design. This is what we came out with. This is the new design you're looking at, um, but it's a fully serviceable design. So before, when we would have the rare issues that we had where um, subwoofers would stop working, typically the whole subwoofer would have to be dug out and replaced. Now we've got these caps that actually screw off and the woofer can be removed in case the woofer blows or, or you know, something goes wrong. Uh, that can be serviced without having to unbury the entire subwoofer. So a huge plus in my mind. And again, just going back to, uh, you know, what I said earlier, being a, a company for installers, by installers, making lives easier. Um, the hardscape sub, which is the above ground outdoor weatherproof sub, uh, come, comes in a, a tan and a brown option. They're both 12 inch woofers. And then our Acoustascape, uh, we've got the AS1, 2, and 3, like I talked about, as well as the AS360, which is this crazy looking kind of Star Wars figure you see here. Um, but what that is, is, is a 360 degree speaker. So it's great to also spec into projects where they just need immersive sound all around. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll see those spec into the middle of a large space with the other style of speaker spec, uh, spec around the outside pointing back at the listening position. Um, distributed audio. This is, again, just kind of showing you all the different areas that True Audio covers or has you covered. Um, distributed audio is just... Uh, the term for audio throughout a uh, home or office or project. Um, you know, in a home where they want distributed audio, typically you're going to have audio in the kitchen, the, the main rooms, um, oftentimes in the bedrooms, the bathrooms. Um, Vessel allows you to, you know, power up all those speakers and then be the, the source for all the music playing in all the different rooms. 
So with a combination of true audio and vessel, we've got all of your audio needs covered. Um, just a real quick shot of our in-ceiling speakers, you know, that would be used for distributed audio. Um, our shadow series is our more of a contra contractor grade speaker. Comes in at a much lower price point, but it still has that signature bezel-less magnetic style grill. The Phantom series would be our next step up, and we've got kind of a, a good and or a better and best scenario within the, the Phantom family. We've got a poly woofer as kind of your base option, and then a, a glass fiber woofer as your, your upgrade option. And we also make it into a dual voice coil speaker, which is great for small bathrooms or you know, laundry room, a small room where they want audio but can't necessarily fit a pair of speakers. Basically, the dual voice coil speaker allows you to get the same sound or kind of mimic the same sound as a pair of speakers, but have it in just one. Uh, and then our Ghost series. I mentioned earlier that I wanted to show you what the True Grip technology was in the Quick Connect feature. Um, I'll explain that a little bit, and then this picture hopefully gives you an idea. But uh, the Ghost series has been our signature, kind of our flagship in-ceiling speaker for a very long time. It was our, our first white-on-white -white speaker. Um, we just barely, as of Q4 last year, completely revamped and redesigned the Ghost series to now we have this, what you're seeing here. Uh, so the biggest thing we've added is our True Grip Toolless technology. So you'll see these yellow dog ears around the side, and you'll kind of see the slide locking mechanism. So when you get this speaker to install, these yellow tabs are actually pushed all the way back. Um, and then you have these white tabs on the front, which this, uh, this picture has them closed, but typically those would be open when you first receive the speaker. And these yellow, uh, they're called dog ears, would be pulled in, in the, the back position. Um, but what's awesome about this speaker is you can literally throw it up and have it installed super quick. So you throw it up in the ceiling, you pull this tab in the front, and it would then lock the, release the yellow dog ear, which comes up to the drywall. And as you continue to spin that tab, it actually cinches that. Uh, so there's no gap in the, in the ceiling at all between the, the, the speaker bezel and the, the ceiling. It gets it nice and tight, um, takes all the tension off of the spring as well as you lock that into place. It puts it onto a, a thread design so that you're not going to have any sag or anything like that over time. Um, and you don't have to use a drill or a, a screwdriver like you used to have to use with traditional speakers. So an awesome technology. Uh, we're super happy with it. Our customers have been even more happy with it just raving about it, loving the fact that it's saving their guys' time on the install. We've got that available on a seven inch and a nine inch um, with multiple uh, uh, upgrade options. So we've got the poly woofer as kind of the base option here and then the carbon fiber. You see this kind of orange reddish cone here, that's the carbon fiber as your um, upgraded option. These are the nine inch are actually three way speakers. They have a, a mid range dri driver behind the tweeter, um, making it an even better version of, of our old Ghost. And that, uh, that wraps it up, you guys. Um, so we're to the QA portion. Uh, Angela, I'm hoping we've maybe got a few questions we can go over. Um, so I'll let her kind of kick those questions off before we fully wrap things up. Yep, thanks Trevor. Um, I do have a couple questions here. Um, so one of the questions, they're asking if someone already has an existing home audio system, how easy is it to interface vessel? So very easy, great question. Um, if someone has an existing system, typically they would already have speakers installed and they would already have amplifiers probably somewhere in that project, most likely in a rack tucked into the equipment room somewhere. Um, you can use and keep all that information or that, um, all that product uh, and use it, simply just remove whatever they were using as a source, which, which probably either won't be there anymore if it's a customer moving into a new house that had existing product, 
Um, if they're missing the amplifiers and only have speakers, then I would suggest using the Vessel A6 and A3s accordingly. So let's say, uh, let's say your customer has a home they've just bought and it's got existing speakers and it's got uh, you know six six rooms of audio, six rooms of speakers in them. Uh, well, the A6 would be the perfect solution piece for that uh, because typically all those speakers would be run back to a central location. You'd have all the speaker wire. You'd be able to just connect them into each zone of your vessel and then go through and set up each vessel zone, um, which, by the way, for anyone who has questions on how to set up, again, we have other webinars we've done, which you will have access to through, through Streakwave um, or through even the vessel uh, website, the dealer resources portion that we talked about earlier, um, or just getting with us live, you know, I'm happy to help as well with, with any sort of setup questions you have. But you go through, set up each vessel zone, um, name the zones, and then your customer would be off and running right there. Um, so it'd be that easy. Um, if they have existing amplifiers, but nothing as a source for music, then you could take those vessel A1s just turn the power portion off so they act as a just a passive source only and um and then you would you know be off to the races after that so it's it's very simple perfect thanks um next question is what about installation um what's a typical installation turnaround time and how does that all work um so, you know, it very much depends on the project. Uh, if we're just going to talk about vessel, let's, let's relate it to that example that was just brought up of, of what do I do to just, if, if the home already has existing speakers. Um, vessel takes typically about uh, 10, 10 to 15 minutes to set up each zone, if that. Um, probably a lot less than that, actually, as you continue to do it and get more familiar with how to do it. Um, but if you are doing a project from scratch, uh, you know, it, it, it really is all project dependent. It could take as, as little as half a day of work if you're just trying to outfit, you know, a room or two to, you know, weeks if you're trying to do a whole custom house or, you know, one, some of these bigger projects that we, we discuss. Um, it really just all varies. Okay, thank you. Um, next question is, if I'm kind of on the edge of wanting to test out a speaker, or do you guys offer like any demos or like um, try and buy type of programs? Absolutely. So get with your Streakwave representative on that and we'll work together to get you whatever you might be interested in. We've got, we've got programs for demoing products, um, programs for you know, putting product in your own house if you want to outfit your rooms or maybe you've got some of this stuff in your house already but you want to swap it out we've got some great product or great programs to get you you know product at, at um you know next to nothing so uh just work with your street wave representative and we'll all work together to figure it out awesome um so next one i have here is do you see more customization um, speakers and projects versus just ordering a speaker and installing it yourself? Sorry, say that one more time, Angela. Cut out a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay. It, asking, do you see more customization projects versus just you know ordering a speaker and installing it yourself? Um. You know, I. If I understand the question correctly, I think are they asking like, is, is do we see more kind of streamlined projects or is everything super custom and crazy? Yeah, um, clarification. And yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would say it's probably a pretty healthy split. Um, some of the guys that I that I work with who have been doing audio video for a long time. Um, I can tell you that that a lot of the more successful guys that have been doing it for a long time have come up with some pretty turnkey solutions so that they basically, you know, kind of try and steer their customer into that sandbox just because they know, based off of how long they've been doing it, they know what works 
and they know, um, you know, what keeps things the simplest. Simplicity is key when it comes to this, you know, technology with a lot of customers. Um, and we believe with Vessel, you know, the, the, the way you can control your music is the simplest way out there, um, which is why we think it's such a great fit for the vast majority. But I would say that, uh, like I was going back to just what I said, that the guys that I see that have been doing this a long time, they offer more turnkey solutions rather than trying to go crazy custom on every project. I think a lot of new guys coming into this space make the mistake of of letting the customer fully steer the ship and, and you know list everything under the sun that they want to see, something to do, and um, then they end up getting in way over their heads and it, it comes back to bite them a little bit. Um, so simplicity is key, and you know, I, having said that, I still see I still see a lot of guys you know doing crazy custom stuff, but um, I'd say it's a, a pretty good split. Perfect. And it looks like those were all the questions that I see, so I think it's safe to wrap it up. Um, so thanks, Trevor, for your time and attendees. Um, like I mentioned before, that this webinar is being recorded, and um, an email follow-up will be shared with everybody with this information and a link to our YouTube channel. So, Trevor, if there's anything else that you wanted to add before we close, please, please go ahead and do so. Um, just wanted to, again, thank everyone. I appreciate you all. appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully you got something out of this. And don't hesitate to reach out to myself, to your representatives, and, um, you know, if you've got more questions, we can definitely dive in and get more specific and do some one-on-one -on -one training. Um, but, uh, again, thanks again for the time today. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.